On May 1st, the Finding Coral research team met in West Vancouver to learn how to drive the submersibles we will be using during the research trip in June. These subs weigh 4,000 pounds, can go to a depth of 600 meters, and travel at a speed of up to 2 knots. The first time I got in the sub, I was nervous. I've done many dives on scuba, but this is a whole new experience. However, after many hours of training on land, I became confident that the sub was safe. And as the crane lifted the sub from the dock and lowered it into the ocean, I was ready to take my first dive into the murky waters of Burrard Inlet. We drive the sub using foot pedals. We use our right foot to make the sub go forward and reverse, and to the left and right. The left foot makes the sub go up and down. While driving, we are continually monitoring the cabin pressure and oxygen levels in the sub. Using a radio phone, the people working topside call down at regular intervals to ensure everything on the sub is safe and going well. After six days of training, the research team, including myself and five scientists, learned how to use the underwater camera, how to gather samples with the manipulator arm, how to use the sonar, and how to stay on course. We are now ready to dive into Queen Charlotte Strait and Hecate Strait, where the water is deep, dark, and clear. You can follow Living Ocean Society's Finding Coral expedition at FindingCoral.com. <laughs>